we've reached Mount Isa. <laughs> We'll probably be sick for the next week, but anyway, we'll, we'll enjoy it when, when we you're got having it. a junk food for a week. I know, I know, but how could you feel not having it though? Oh, yeah, good, but I was hanging for some KFC, so you're worse than me. It's like, oh, I hope Mount Isa's got a KFC. And we're parked in the middle of the right in the smack bang middle of the road, so we're hoping that we don't get any trouble. There's been like 30 cop cars go past, and I'm not even kidding like well, every good. second car's a cop car, and they're, they're not even worrying about us. I've got to go to Coles. And um, John's going to stay with the caravan because a couple of the locals have just spoken to us and said, don't leave, don't leave the, the caravan. caravan. Like, don't leave it unattended. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll... I'll go do Coles and you can stay here. Yep. Sounds Let's good to see. me. I don't like going to shopping centres anyway. So Let's see. Let's see. Turn it off quick. I'm getting <laughs> stuck into this. Good morning. So yesterday we stopped at Mount Isa to do our groceries. $358 later. Couldn't believe that. But really I can't complain because we haven't done a big grocery shop geez, since we started off, I don't think. We've just been shopping in all these little towns and buying the necessities. So uh, we're about uh, 45 minutes uh, out of Mount Isa in a place called Gunpowder. This rest area is a World War II historic site. Now, to be honest, I don't know why it's a historic site. I can't find anything really written about it, but it is a fabulous camp area. It's got up the front here um, the picnic tables and there's an amenities block. They're, I believe they're drop toilets. We haven't used them at all because I don't need to use them here. Um, but then you go down the back, away from all this, you'll see there's two caravans leaving already and we're just about to go. There's a caravan over there, another one there. This place felt extremely safe. I, we had our windows wide open last night. It was really hot. Um, but yeah, there is a dump point here. There is no hose connected though to the dump point. Where that caravan's just pulled up, that's the amenities block over there. Plenty of rubbish bins. So yeah, great little stopover on the way to Northern Territory. I highly recommend this gunpowder World War II historical site. Oh, wait, there's actually, hang on a minute. found a, um, an information board. So the Mount Isa to Camelwheel Road was built during the World War II as part of the inland defence road system. In 1940, as the war moved to the Pacific region, the defence of the northern Australia became an urgent issue. The Queensland Main Roads Commission, now the Queensland Department of Main Roads, was given the responsibility to build a road west of Mount Isa to link up with the north-south road at Tannock Creek. Prior to 1940 the road west was a track which ran close to the telegraph line erected in 1897 and meandered from waterhole to waterhole across the ridges and black soil plains. In January 1941 work commenced on the road which was 10 miles shorter than the track However, there were difficulties in building the road with funds exhausted and chronic shortages of machinery and manpower. By the end of 1941, Australian and American military traffic on the east-west road increased to volumes as high as 1,000 vehicles per day. So, to the left, it says 
Looking to the left, a good example of the design standards of the time will be noted. The road hugs the natural surface, transversing both floodplains and crests. The adjacent road, constructed in 1994, provides a stark contract, contrast to the standards. The nearby rest area is built on land generously provided by the Kalkadoon people, who were part of the workforce that helped construct the east-west road which traverses their traditional land. Yeah, it all had to do with being built during World War II. Perfect rest area, guys. stayed at gunpowder and stayed the night and it was very good wasn't it it was actually i just seen another caravan come right i don't even know where he came out of but he was in the bush down there somewhere oh really yes yeah, so there's probably four or five here last night yeah it's quite a big area yeah. and um yeah people hidden everywhere and um john practiced the drone so I'm, i would have put that in here oh my god how hard are they to freaking control <laughs> it was a good little area for john to practice the drone so, so the drone was up and I looked down, and it was actually like staring at some caravan way down there. I thought, oh shit, how do I get it back? And I'm trying to get it back, and it's not coming <laughs> back. And I'm thinking, these people are going to come over and say, hey, you know. Anyway, I got it back, and then it was oh, all that's right. good. We're going to head, I think, as far as Barclay Homestead. So there's not going to be a lot of stops on the way, but we will be crossing the border Booyah. into the Northern Territory. Yay. Um, I think we've got some 340 kilometres to go today. Can we just blink and we'll be there? Yeah. That's all so. right. Let's go. Let's go. Next important stop, we're at Kemmer Wheel now, and we have just emptied the the toilet at the dump point, and John is now filling the water. The water. Oh, so slow. They need, they need quick fill things on caravans, I reckon. Yeah be interesting how full um, it's gonna go. Yeah, oh, it, was, it was pretty, I think it was pretty empty this one. So we could have filled um, the water at the dump point. There was a main tap there, but we watch um, Caravan Adventures Oz with Bryce and Chelsea. And he's a plumber and he said never fill up your water near a dump near point. Near a dump point. So we stick by ha that rule considering he's a plumber, he knows what he's talking about. Um, Actually, toilets just over there. No, toilets over there. It's picnic table there. We came in through this entrance. Picnic table there. There is a tap on it, but it's had a different connection. Fire hydrant hose. Yeah. And then this um, picnic table here. It's got a little barbecue, and it had a proper tap. Um, 
we did have to use our, our second hose because it wasn't long enough. It just wasn't long enough, boy. Unbelievable. But that's that's pretty good. That's all right. Can't argue with that. It's pretty Dump point in there. We're not going to stay in Kemmer Wheel um, because we have a parcel at the Darwin Post Office, which I have just had to ring because I had that parcel sent um, and I've never done it before to the post office and it got sent to a locker and my daughter told us not to use the lockers because they only keep them for 24 hours um, and we've got to get to Darwin so I've just rung them and he said to me no the good news is they keep them in the lockers for 48 hours and then they get they're supposed to get sent to a post office for collection um, so hopefully he's right yeah but um, having it directly sent to the post office, you've got 10 business days to pick up. I was oh, starting to stress. I, I was starting to stress. You reckon I stress a lot? Yeah, you do, but I was really starting to stress about this parcel. But now I can order um, a couple of other parcels that I need sent, and, yeah, we're going to be fine. Yeah. We'll do that tonight. So when you're in here, there's only there's three taps, but only one in the middle that's got normal connection. The other two, unless you've got a fancy connection, you can't use it. Oh, okay. Yeah, must admit, having a freezer is pretty good as well. Right, we're going to go to Now Ranny Street. So we didn't have to turn into Now Ranny Street because what I wanted to see, we could have parked on the highway. So we're at the Ellen Finlay Memorial Park. And that's the town hall there. Here we have, um, lest we forget, tribute to all those who served their country great and love has no man than he would lay down his life for others but what I wanted to show you I didn't realize that was there oh there's a big dog hello dog and there's a sprinkler on so anyhow <laughs> of course look at this dog he's huge All right, sprinkler's gonna get me all wet. And you wouldn't believe it, the sprinkler has wet the plaque, so I don't know what it's all about, but this is a drover's statue. Pretty well done. All right, the plaque's all wet by the sprinkler and I can't read it, so I can't tell you what it's all about, but it's the Drover's statue in Camer Wheel. Sorry about that. This is Camer Wheel. General store, supermarket. Look at this dog crossing the road. Oh my God. <laughs> um, that's supposed to be a petrol pump, but it doesn't, it's closed. There's a hotel over there, and down here on the right is a Puma service station. So if you're coming to this Puma station, you're coming from Mount Isa end, see where John's parked down there? If you go further down the road, there's a, in turn right, there's an entry to um, a big truck stop area. And that is a better place for you to go and line up for your petrol. Um, apparently of an afternoon, people line up along this road here, along the highway, and block all the traffic and the truckies get the real shits, which I don't blame them. That's a little bit funny. I'm going to take you for a walk down here all while John's waiting for this petrol look at this is there's another caravan us this truck's got to fill up anyhow well, let's walk down here there's a kangaroo no it looked like a kangaroo but it's got horns Barclay Homestead. John's just put diesel in 
it was $2.56.9 I think we put something like 92 litres in I can't see but yeah that's that's not too bad that's not the worst we've paid so um, I think we're I'm not sure how far from the border 100 k's or something from the border anyhow let's keep going we made it to another border I know booyah how do you get another water? Two, 247 kilometres to go. There's no fuel either for the next, what they say, 270 Two forty-seven 240, to yeah. Barclay Homestead. All right. All right, so there we are, Northern Territory border. That's the landscape. It's a good pull over area for you to get your Maybe picture. The in the middle. Look at the I know, look at the rubbish guys. One thing we hate is how many people have put stickers on the sign. Like, come on guys, we all know you as the travellers and everything, but really do you have to deface the signs? It is a form of graffiti really. You know, and I'm no bloody angel, but to me that's defacing the sign and it makes it look awful, so stop doing it. I think you can see it out there. See all the smoke? Yes. Haze? What are we, 120 kilometres to go until we get to Park, Barclay Homestead? And there's been warnings all the way along the highway about the scrub fires. But We're slowly getting closer to it. Yeah. It actually looks like the end of the world. It looks like something's been bombed. It's 37 degrees. Tomorrow when the war ends. Tomorrow is that what that movie's nah, called? I don't know. What the war ends are. I don't know. With those young kids in Australia that um, they go camping for the night. And when they come back home, they, there's a war started. Yeah, they has been bombed. Well, that's what it looks like. so many boats out here down there yeah. in the question in the comments please maybe they just it's a thoroughfare but there's more, more boats than caravans there is there it's is crazy there Absolutely is crazy anyhow we're still going through a lot of burnt bushland oh so much so much oh, burnt bushland crazy 
but we are 60 k's from Barclay Homestead, so we'll catch you there. Yep. Catch you on the flip side. No? Rizal? No? Re no? Catch like a Ren Rizal, like they say? No, I don't know, John. Just see you there. I know, it's been, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. So we're just at Barclay Homestead, and there's a boat there. A boat there. A boat there. A boat there. And a boat there. So it's one, two, three, four. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Five boats. Is that what you mean? Five boats in the middle of nowhere. Why? How cool is that? Two goannas fighting. So today we've arrived at Barclay Homestead. Um, so Barclay Homestead is known to be the first pub when you get into Northern Territory or the last pub to leave. It is halfway between Camerwheel, which is just on the other side of the border, and Three Ways, which if you've ever driven there to the Northern Territory or Alice Springs or Darwin, when you cross over from Camerwheel, it's just one road, just one single road all the way up to you get a T intersection. If you turn left, you go to Alice Springs, you turn right, to, you go to Darwin, and they call it three ways. So here we are at the homestead. John and I have just had dinner in there. It we cost, I think it was like $43, and I got we got a pizza, um, a bowl of wedges and two cans of Coke. I'll try to drop the picture in here. Um, you know I'm not that clever at editing, so see how we go with that. Now I'll take you for a walk around the camp area. It was $40 a night for power and water. We decided to do power and water tonight because it's 38 degrees. It's like 7 o'clock at night. The inside the roadhouse, which is here, it's like a pub and you've got a dining area, a gift shop, um, a few convenience things and then you've got your your fuel over to my left you have cabins and like a motel area apparently this place burnt down not long ago and it's all been refurbished but I don't know the story to that take that as it is okay we're entering the gates Now there's guinea fowl that roam the camp area all the time. Down here, who's talking to? Oh, he's a black cockatoo. Hi. Hello, will you say hello to everyone? And here are one of my favourite birds. Hello. Can you see him? My kids affectionately call these birds here Grandpa Birds. And they're called Grandpa Birds to my kids because when my parents lived in Barrel in the Southern Highlands, um, they used to come and grandpa, my dad used to feed these birds. And um, yeah, so when my kids were little, Grandpa Birds. That's it guys, that's Barclay Homestead. I reckon it's worth a stay, it's a beautiful place. Plus at the, um, the drive from, from Camerwheel over three ways, it's, it's a long drive, you need to have a rest. Oops, you got your clothes on John? Got your clothes on? Oh, look at the mess in here. Oh, who cares? Oh, 
It's cool. How was dinner? It was okay. I think it was okay. Okay. Don't you reckon? Well, yeah. I said, well, I said I think the pizza was like a Franklin's pizza. Yeah, but I don't reckon... Oh, people wouldn't even know who Franklin's oh, were. Oh, Woolies pizza. Yeah. I think. Could have been more topping. I think it could have been a bit better. Look, it was okay. Hey, drop it in the comments below if you can remember Franklin's, the grocery store. It was the best Good grocery store. Good old Franklin's, hey. They just didn't keep up to date. No. Nah. Anyhow... But yeah, uh, look, it was it was fine. The, the the wedges were good. I was just saying though, you've got to stop here because it's too much of a long drive. Hey, from Camerwell. Oh, I'm stuffed. Yeah, I'm stuffed. So. And you know, the 37 degrees heat does take it, it out. It does of you. knock you. Even though you sit in the car, the aircon car, but it just takes takes it out of you. Yeah. All right. So.